Mary, you got to get out and do some exercise. I don't wanna. Mary, if you won't go for a walk, go for a checkup. I want. You need to take responsibility for yourself, Mary. Get off that couch and get down to the clinic. Your health is your responsibility. Help yourself before you get sick. There are services available to help you stay healthy. Make use of them. Now, Mary, your, your results are back and you're lucky you came in when you did. Really? Yeah, your, your cholesterol's high and uh, we're going to have to do some more tests, but unfortunately we can't do them here, so it means you're going to have to go down to Perth. I don't want to go down there. You know what they say about people who go down there, they don't come back. Anyway, how am I going to get there? Can someone come with me? Yeah, look, if you just take this form, Mary, to the Pat's Clark, they'll help to get you there. Pat Clark? Who Pat Clark? Oh, Uncle Patrick. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Look, the the test carried out by my doctor the, showed heart problems, and so I had to go to Perth to get the best medical attention. It was serious, and because I was off to Perth, I needed to know a few things. Now, Mary, if your flight arrives in Perth outside of office hours, you'll need to catch a taxi from the airport to the Aboriginal hostel. OK. You'll also need to get to your appointment the next day. i got no family in Perth. And you know me, I'm just a big country girl. Can someone come with me, please? Because you're not elderly and you're able to walk, you can't take an escort. Even more reason for you to take your ID. ID? What's that? ID is your driver's licence, your Medicare card or a bank card. I got them. Other items you'll need to take is your airline ticket. I haven't got one yet. I've got your airline ticket here as well as cab charges. What's a cab charge? Cab charge will pay for your taxi fare. You'll hand this document to the driver and he will fill it in for you. This booklet and all of these documents I'll give to you to take to Perth with you. Thank you. Identification, or ID as they call it, like photo ID, driver's license, pension card or Medicare card, can make things easier for you. What was that one again? Check. That's one. Or if you don't have those, a letter from the community saying who you are, where you are from and your date of birth will help. And be prepared to tell people your name and your information more than once so they can help you. You want to make sure all your medical information and tests go on your personal file, not on someone else's by mistake. Uh -huh. Walkabout. Walkabout walk. Is that just for you? Yeah. Okay. Also be sure to take extra clothes and wear your shoes. Hi Mary. Hello. My name's Maria and this is Julie. So how was your flight Mary? Oh, too high. I was scared. I don't like flights. I was like that. Mm, it is a bit scary up there, isn't it? <laughs> the Country Health Meet and Greet team are there to help you. So don't get shamed. Ask them anything you want. They're there to help you. health ladies were waiting for another flight, so I caught a taxi. You can do that. I wanted to see the city. You've booked with us for one night. 
If you'd like to eat in the dining room, it's $10. Check out is at 10 a.m., so make sure you've got your bags with you so you don't have to come back for them. What? I gotta move. I just arrived. How do I know what I'm doing tomorrow night? Well, I'm sure they'll let you know tomorrow. You need a taxi for tomorrow morning? Yes, please. You can use the phone over there if you'd like to make a booking now. Um... Can you ring for me, please? OK. What time's your appointment and where are you going? Ah, I got a letter from my doctor. I knew this would come in handy. Where to, love? To the hospital, please. I got a voucher. How come you Aboriginal people never have to pay? To the hospital, please. There are three main hospitals in Perth. If you're staying in the hospital that is treating you, you could walk there. At Royal Perth Hospital, there are lots of entrances. Ask for the Victoria Square entrance. Always ask for directions if you are not sure where to go. The person behind the desk is the first place to ask. An appointment for Wednesday in July. It's at 10 a.m. Yeah, it's the same Wednesday. Is that okay? Okay. Um, all right. So just put that in your diary. Sorry. Why are you I'm talking to, to yourself? Oh. I'll try and put you in then, but make sure that you write it in your book. Can I help you, miss? Hey? Do you have a referral? Referral? I need to see a letter from your doctor. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 I got a letter. I think I come out of the bush or something. There you go. OK. That's great. Just take the lift to the third floor. Other way. That way. I knew that. Na, na, na. Na, 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 na. Na, na, na. Na, 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 na. Na, na, na. Na, 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 na. Hospitals are big places, and the staff are very busy people. You will be treated by lots of different people, and there's lots of waiting. Make sure you take some food and water, because you could be waiting a long time. I'm Dr. Phillips. Hello, Dr. Phillips. Are you a toy doctor? <laughs> Do you have a license? <laughs> yes, Mary. I'm, I'm a proper doctor. Uh, now, Mary, uh, do you know why you're here today? Um, it's your right as a patient to ask questions and to seek help and ask for an interpreter if necessary. Um, the doctor back home told me to come down for some tests. Yes, that's right. Um, your heart isn't pumping your blood properly. So we need to do some tests over the next couple of days just to, uh, just to make sure that everything's going OK. Yeah? Uh, now, um, do you have any questions or anything you need to ask? Here's how I handled it. By being um, calm and listening carefully. Will it hurt? Will I die? How long will it take? I'm frightened, you know. I didn't know it was going to take this long. What, a couple of days? I didn't bring anything with me. I'll explain. Now, looking at your blood test results and also uh, the letter that your doctor sent, we need to do what's called a coronary angiogram. A what? 
a coronary angiogram. And now what that means is we need to put a little pipe into one of your blood vessels and we'll run a wire up to the pipe so we can take a picture of your coronary arteries. Now if there are a couple of blockages then we'll have to do something called a coronary bypass. A coronary bypass? Yes, that's right, a coronary bypass. Um, Mary, I also need you just to repeat back what I told you. I just need to make sure that you understand what I'm saying, okay? Yeah, can I have a woman doctor, please? Yes, we can try and arrange that for you, but first, it's very important. I just need you to repeat what I told you. I just need to make sure you understand. Well, yeah, you're going to look into my heart for any blockages, and if there's any blockages, you're going to clear it by something called a bypass. Yes. Yes, that's right. Um, we're actually going to take um, a blood vessel out of your leg and put it into your heart so that the blood can flow around the blockages. Um, now, if we do find some blockages, then we're going to need you to stay here in Perth. Stay here? Yes, and we're also going to need to do an operation and there will be some uh, rehabilitation as well. But don't worry, it's okay, Mary. You'll feel a lot better when your heart's working properly. What if I don't have the treatment? Well, you could have a heart attack, Mary. A heart attack? Mm, that's right, if your heart's not working properly. How long will it take? If you don't understand, keep asking questions. Hello, I'm Mary G. Mary Gerard i I've got to be admitted to the hospital. Hi Mary, you need to fill these forms out. If you need help with understanding forms or telling people back at home what's happening, or help with money matters, you can ask for a referral to the West Australian Country Health Connections mob. They help. Ah, oh, I didn't bring my glasses. I don't even have any glasses. <laughs> I can't even read. Can I have an Aboriginal liaison officer, please? Or somebody, I need help. Hi, Mary, how are you going? How you going, darling? I'm good, let's pop this behind your head. Okay. Make sure you're comfy. Now, the doctor's given me a form here to say they want to take some bloods from you, okay? I'm just gonna take the blood now. You might feel a little bit of a scratch. Okay. Hello Mary, how are you feeling? Ah, uh, you know. Now Mary, you will need an operation, okay, so you're going to have to fast. Fast? How far? No, you're going to have to not eat uh, for quite a while, just so your stomach is empty. It's empty now. I'm starving. Is that the food trolley I can hear? No, I'm just going to take your temperature, just put your head to the side. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, now, Mary, we have found three blockages in your arteries, okay? So we're going to have to put in some new vessels to carry the blood around the blockages, okay? Now, I have uh, booked the operation for tomorrow, and in the meantime, you are going to have to fast. Is that clear? Mary? Oh, sorry, Doctor. I can hear the food trolley. I'm that hungry I could eat my two legs. But you can't eat anything, Mary. You have to fast, okay? Now, you can have some water, but just a little bit at a time. Doctor, I'm a big girl. If I don't eat, I get weak. I was so hungry, but if I had eaten anything, I would have had to wait another day. You cannot eat if you are going to have an operation. Hello, Mary. Now, I'm just going to test your oxygen levels, if you just give me your hand. What your mum been doing to me now? Well, we transferred some vessels from your leg up to uh, bypass the coronary blockages, remember? I can't move. I've been really, really sore. This hospital is a really scary place, Doctor. We even lose a lot of people here. Well, general anaesthetic can often make you feel quite low, Mary, but it will pass. Okay, the prognosis is positive. All right? Can I have a minty? I was feeling no good, so the Aboriginal liaison officer came to see me. You okay, Mary? 
the doctor would say I gotta stay here in Perth. I don't wanna die here. I wanna go back home to my people. Oh, don't worry, Mary. I'll arrange a phone, you can call your family and let them know you're gonna be okay. Here, here, bought you something. It's a special bra. You'll be more comfortable. Thank you, my dear. Them up they speak any kind of words. <laughs> I don't know what they're talking about sometimes. The Social Work Department or the ALO will help you with anything that is worrying you. Ask your nurse to see the Aboriginal Liaison Officer. After surgery, I had to have six weeks of exercises. They call that rehabilitation. The fitter I got, the better I felt. Hello, my dear. Mary D, you know me? Yes, I do. We've been expecting you. This is your room over here, Mary. OK. You have plenty of toilet paper? Of course we do. <laughs> uh, oh, it's cold here in Perth. Well, the Country Health Connection have a good supply of clothing. We could get you some more clothes for you while you're here. Make sure it's extra large. I'm a big girl. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Well, Mary, you missed some appointments here in Perth, so that's delayed your progress. I went shopping. So you have two rehab treatments left here, OK? And then the hospital will arrange for you to go home and you can continue your treatments there, all right? It was a long way to that rehab. And I don't know how to catch the train or the bus. I just want to go home. My family needs me. Look, we'll try to get you home soon, Mary, OK? And I'll get a taxi organised for your remaining appointments. But you must remember, if you don't understand what the doctors are telling you, or if you're having trouble getting to your appointments, you just need to ask. OK. Thank you for everything, Doctor. I can't wait to get back home to the heat. I missed some rehabilitation appointments. And so I didn't get better fast. OK, Mary, have you got all your medicines for the next few days? Um, one, two, three, yep, I got them. Oh, great. Well, when you get back home, if you can take those medicines and this letter from Perth back to your local clinic, that'd be great. It's important they know what medicines you're taking, thank you, so that they can look after you properly. Some hostel staff are care workers. They can help you with appointments and diet. You know, proper good food. Just Okay, Mary. Make sure you eat good tucker. Please try and stay fit and healthy and do some exercise. You could even ask your doctor for a diet and an exercise plan. Okay, my dear. I know a lot of ways of getting exercise. <laughs> And at Aboriginal hostels, you meet new friends. Your medical information is confidential. No one else but you has the right to share medical information about you. The Country Health Meet and Greet mob are ready to help you. The social worker or Aboriginal liaison officer can help you contact them if you need help. Me, I just like to talk and share. And if I tell you about my experience, then it will help you with your own journey. So that's the story of my medical treatment. Now that I'm looking after myself better, I eat good tucker. I use this poster here. It shows me what good tucker is. Fruit, vegetables and lean red meat, chicken or fish, and no more sweet fizzy drinks. Alcohol is not good for you too, bad for your health. Another good way to look after your health is to keep your hands clean. I found that one of the most important and easiest way to avoid infection and colds or flu is to wash your hands regularly with soap and water. You can see I was lucky. I got a checkup in time so the doctors could fix my heart. Checkups are so important. You should go to the doctor for regular health checkups, but also go if you have chest pain, breathlessness, dizziness, Pains in your arm, pain in your lower back, problems passing water, you know, gumbo, or if you have any bleeding anywhere. I also found out the best way to get support while I was away from home and family, Country Health Mob. They will help you if you need it. 
ask the ALO or the social work department of the hospital to call them for you. For example, if you left your glasses at home like I did, or you are on medication that you left behind at home, tell them, they can help you. They got me a comfortable bra for after my surgery. What a yow. <laughs> your journey is my journey. We all got to be healthy. What a yow.